A tap is produced by tapping one symbol on the edge of the other symbol. I generally use three different versions with my programs, the upright, frontal, and bell tap versions. The upright version is set in a basic A formation with the top edges of the symbols at eye level. The prep movement consists of lifting the edge of the right symbol about 2-3 to three inches up and slightly away from the left symbol, then tap the right symbol against the outer edge of the left symbol and let it bounce off the symbol to produce your open tap sound. The frontal version can be thought of as lowering your hands forward from the A position until your hands are at navel level. At this point, the top of the A will be pointing away from your body. The prep movement consists of moving the edge of the right symbol about 2-3 to three inches forward and slightly away from the left symbol, then tap the right symbol against the outer edge of the left symbol. The point of contact will determine the tone that you will receive. If you start with the underside of the right symbol close to the bell and play taps as you move towards the outer edge, your tone will go from higher to lower to higher. This gives you more musical options to work with. The sound produced by this technique can be altered to give you a variety of sounds by changing the type of muffling used. Muffling can be broken into four categories, free, single muffle, double muffle, and full body muffle. Free simply means that the cymbals are free and not touching any part of the arm so there's no muffling at all. This version can also be broken down into four sub-versions. One will have all fingers on the cymbal. The second version will have the fingers pulled away from the right symbol. And the third version will have the fingers pulled away from the left symbol. The fourth version will have all of the fingers pulled away from the symbols, which will give you the best ringing of all the versions. Single muffle means one symbol is pressed against the forearm during the time at which they strike. Double muffle means both symbols are pressed against the respective forearms when they strike each other. Full body muffle means that the symbols are pressed against the forearms and your middle torso at the time they strike for a maximum muffling effect. The bell tap gets its name from the fact that you are playing a tap in the bell area. You can use all of the same dampening techniques that we just discussed in the tap section. You have your free muffle with its four subversions. Free, right fingers muffle, left fingers muffle, and all fingers muffle. Single muffle means one symbol is pressed against the forearm during the time at which they strike. Double muffle means both symbols are pressed against the respective forearms when they strike each other. Full body muffle means that the symbols are pressed against the forearms and your middle torso at the time they strike for a maximum muffling effect. So as you can see, when you mix the point of contact possibilities with the many dampening options, you come up with a large variety of different sounds that you could incorporate into your program.